Hey guys, I'm out here in my shop today and I'm going to try, work on trying to get a zero clearance insert made for my new table saw. I took this in the house this morning and drew it up in CAD and I didn't bother recording any of that because it's pretty boring. Uh, but I've got one drawn out I think it's going to work. I'm going to try to uh, use a scrap piece of uh, half inch MDF. Uh, I've got it all programmed and got a piece set up over there. So let's get started uh, cutting this thing out and see if it fits. Okay, so here's the final cut. And I have to say, I actually made a mistake on this one because, in my haste, when I took this one in there to reverse engineer it, I knew I had to put that little cut out around all of these holes. And I forgot about where the magnet hits here. It's got that little ear. So I just put a Forstner bit in and, and uh, notch that out real quick just to see if it'll fit. And it fits pretty good. I can get, you know, adjust it down and get it nice and plus. It does have a little bit of wiggle there. So on the next one I make, I will probably uh, add a few thou here to uh, stiffen that up. Or once I cut this out of some hardwood or something, uh, maybe I can put a screw in there also if that will keep it nice and snug. But I got the finger hole basically in the same place. Uh, and also I do want to mention too for all you YouTube safety patrol people, I unplugged this before I uh, took the blade out there. So just want to make sure I mention that so I don't get a bunch of safety comments down below. But uh, anyway, just for a test piece out of MDF, what the main thing I was looking for is to, for one, to make sure it fit down in there, and for another, to make sure that these holes lined up with these adjustment screws, and all of them do, they line up perfectly, so you can set it on here and either screw that in or screw that out to get it uh, to, get it to uh, adjust. I do need to make that deeper as well. Because I just I think kind of got that sticking up a little bit. Okay, I took uh, took this thing back into the house and uh, to add some of the things I was missing, uh, I added this. And then I also got to thinking, you know, instead of having to put a smaller blade, like a circular saw blade or something on there, to be able to do it, I'm wondering if I just cut where cut a pocket in the bottom of the insert maybe about three eighths deep which would leave about an eighth of an inch uh, and then maybe when you stick this on here with the, with the blade all the way down maybe that eighth of an inch will be where you don't have to swap and put a smaller blade on so I want, I'm gonna I went ahead and reprogram this uh, I wanted to make it a little more snug I wanted to add this part that I forgot on the first one and I'm going to fill out this pocket right here too and we're going to get a shot and see if that will uh, See if that might make it and do that without having to, you know, put a smaller blade on. That'll save some time. So, anyway, I'm going to fire up the CNC again and we're going to cut another one. Okay, guys, I got the second one cut here. And I think this one's going to be a little better. And as you can see, I didn't forget the uh, cutout for the, where the magnet goes. I'm going to try this little cutout here, 3 HD to see if that's going to be enough to uh, allow that get this on with that blade 10 inch blade on and then not have to swap the blade out and let's uh, stick this thing in here and see how it fits oh yeah added, added a little bit to the width here and this thing fits just about perfect both still line up good and now I'm going to put the blade on Make sure that it, uh, or I'll see if, I, you know, if you can do this with the blade on. So, okay, now let's lower the blade down. If this thing will fit on here, be clear without having to. Okay, that's about as far as she's going to go. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, there we go. So now, be 
because of that that slot in there, you don't have to swap out and put a smaller smaller blade on there. So that's that's awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Now let me uh, I haven't put the riving knife back on. Let me put that on and see if it will still work. I need to leave that riving knife off to uh, to cut it anyway, so I don't know what I was thinking. I don't put that on there. That was kind of stupid, wasn't it? Senior moment. Okay. All right, so I'm pretty excited about this now because now that I've got my program all tweaked, I can cut these all day long, and they'll be perfect. They'll go right on there. Adjusted. In fact, this one from where I adjusted that other one, it fits perfect. It's nice and snug, and you don't have to swap out to a smaller blade to uh, raise it up and do the zero insert. So, pretty excited about that. That's awesome. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. I uh, appreciate all my new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, uh, please subscribe. And uh, I guess we'll, that's going to do it for this one. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.